This game is T and is not suitable for kids. Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! And guess. Today I learned that IKEA is the most overwhelming store you could possibly go into. And apparently all we talk about is just stores and shopping. Is that what we do? Oh, yeah, a lot. you decide in the comments if we should do that more or less. Even though by the time this comes out, we will oh, probably like record. 20. <laughs> yeah, that's possible. Anyhow, we're on the middle of part two of the kidnapped turnabout now. Okay. Last time, we just totally did. Oh, yeah, with these the good two. music. I think this is just the default investigation music, honestly. But I like it. Okay, it's good. Uh, we, we were gonna bribe the officer. Yeah? With 220s, yeah. What is it, Kay? You look like you've stumbled upon something. I'm kind of confused by all of the different events going on. First, there's the kidnapping, and then the co-conspirators of that end in the murder. And Miss Oldbag saw the crucial moment, but you and Miss Oldbag are kind of- We do not need to investigate further into that last statement. Disregarding the effect of who it came from of a witness's testimony was a mess. However, it did shed some light on the case- the truth behind this case. Let's keep investigating and see what other types of people we run into, shall we? Kay needs to stop using so much whitening toothpaste as well. Yeah. The next place to investigate... Is the kidnapper's hideout, of course. Yes. And their hideout is... That room next to the one we were stuck in! Kay, I would appreciate it if you didn't steal the words from my mouth. <laughs> but I can't help it, you know? I'm a great thief, after all. So the best that the great thief can do is petty theft of other people's words, huh? Let's bribe the officer! What do you have to report? Oh, uh, sir, nothing unusual! We're out of the ordinary, sir! Where have I heard such redundancy before? Hmm, is it possible for you to let us take a look around inside? Oh, uh, sir, Roger, sir! That was surprisingly hassle-free. Are you certain? Didn't Agent Lane order you not to allow me in? Uh, sir, that's true, sir, but... Detective Gumshoe asked me personally to let you in, sir. And I couldn't refuse a request from him. Wow, looks like Detective Gumshoe has a following. Uh, furthermore, I was asked to give this document to you, sir. What is this? The man in this picture. Mm. Isn't this Mr. Oliver Deacon? His dominant hand is right. That is very specific. Also, this dude has, like, the lowest weight for a man that's 5'8". That what is a heck? very low weight. He's, Holy like, cow. 123 pounds? That's so small and skinny. Just so you know, the average weight, like, the average healthy weight for someone who's, like, 6'2", is, like, 185 or something. Yeah, something like that. If you're 5'8 and 120, I mean, also it's cool, but you should probably weigh a little more. Colin Devore. <laughs> Where have we heard that before? Colin Devore! It's the name on the pendant that we had, right? Yep. Whereabouts unknown after his escape from Pen E. Dent Prison. Great. Are you serious? <laughs> really? Pen Stole a e gun from a guard during his escape. We thought he might head for where... I can't read. Oh. His wife and daughter or something despite... And he's yet to show up. Cool. But the name here says Colin Devare. Devore? That's the same name as the one on the back of the pendant. It appears that Colin Devore was his real name. What's this? He was convicted in a case ten years ago and sent to prison. What? Then what was he doing here? Apparently he broke out of jail and then just vanished. Is his real name Sirius Black? Yeah. You must have become- he must have become Oliver Deacon to co cover up the fact that he was an escaped felon. Oh, despite oh. surveillance, he has yet to show up. Now, I'm not sure what's going on anymore. Is there some sort of link between the victim's past and this current case? These police documents are rather detailed. I should take the time to give them a thorough read eventually. I bet you the dominant hand is gonna come up. Where it's like, he shot with the left hand, it's like, FUSS! He shot with the right hand! <laughs> Probably. It's fine. Let's focus on one thing at a time, starting with the kidnapper's hideout. Yeah, I agree! We should investigate first, then think later. More than thinking things through, I think you should try remembering things first. Now then, if you could please unlock the door, officer. It was locked up until a little while ago, but uh, since then, the door's been wide open, sir. I'm not sure I follow what you it is you're saying. Care to explain in a bit more detail? Uh, sir, the door was locked down tight when they went to check out the room. So they got about ten officers to help out and break the door down, sir. I see. I guess that means I can get Agent Lane's leftovers. Well, let's see what we find. 
It's just going to be completely tampered, I bet. March 13th, 2.55 p.m. Kidnapper's tied up. So this is where the kidnappers plan their foul deed. Well, you were tied up for a while in the room next door. <laughs> okay, please. Must you bring that up again? Now then, down to business. There might still be some clues left in this room. Let's try to find out what we can of the other kidnappers' identity. Begin investigation! Do, 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 do. Ooh, they have barrels like these just outside! Yes, and? Well, I know I already asked you when we were out there, but... If these were real, what would you put in them? There's an expectant gleam in her eyes that I'm about to dash. Well, they still have another hand. What have we here? Looks like a sword. A broken sword. Strange. Why would it be broken like that? Maybe you stepped on it. <laughs> what were you wearing to break a metal sword in half? Maybe by it's stepping not metal. On? Maybe it just looks like metal, and it's like oops. <laughs> Swords usually don't break on their own. That's true. All right then. Let's think about it this way. Maybe it broke when some one was trying to use it for or on something. Hypotheticals aren't going to get us anywhere. Perhaps we should think more on this later. Using logic. Unused folding chairs lean against the wall in their folded state. Wow, whoever lined these up did it perfectly! There is not even a single hair off! I'd feel bad using these because it'd be like stealing the perfection away. I suspect it's more like you wouldn't want to be the one to put them away. Yeah. Where are the chair? Oh, those are the chairs. Watch out, Mr. Edgeworth! It's a broken mirror. It probably came from the haunted house. Why is this here? Are they planning to repair it? Or is it like the seven years of bad luck thing? <laughs> it's like the Winnie the Pooh episode where Tigger breaks the mirror. <laughs> Have you seen Did that you one? Do that? New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh? Where it's like Tigger breaks Rabbit's mirror. So he's like, Rabbit, you get the seven years of bad luck. And it's like, turns out Rabbit borrowed the mirror from Pooh. So Pooh gets the bad luck. Oh. Then it turns out because Tigger's the one who broke it, he gets the bad luck. It's, it, it's a funny episode. Huh, I don't know. I've never seen that. And like, that. they seal Piglet away in this house. What? <laughs> and like, lightning blows it up and like, it traumatizes Piglet for the rest of the episode. It's kind of <laughs> weird. <That's> so weird. <laughs> okay. See, to me, the first thing I thought of was Arthur. Where Brain was like, running around trying to not like, jump on cracks and then his mom was like... Oh, that was, that, was, that was a terrible episode. <laughs> it wasn't that terrible, but it was pretty bad. That was when Arthur started going downhill. A sign advertising the photo rally, something I have absolutely no interest in. Yeah, but I do! And I'm gonna get my hands on the rest of the Badger family, you'll see! She definitely brings a decidedly different atmosphere to a criminal investigation. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Uh, there's like two, there's a spout, and then there's two that are gone. That's weird. Cheap styrofoam cups. Hmm, looks like only three cups were used. Supposedly, but there's not one in front of the other person. Folding chairs, and by the looks of it, they were probably used by the kidnappers. Hmm, there are three chairs set around the table. Seriously, what is up with that thing in the back? This? No, to the right. See how it's like, there's like a spout, not a poster. Oh, oh, oh okay. Thing below it, a poster yeah. of Gatewaterland is stuck on this wall. Intrigue, fun, prestige. Gatewaterland has it all, and it's waiting for you. It's not especially catchy, is it? Oh, this? This. Hmm? I wonder what this key is to. Oh, it's a key. Hmm, you got me. It reminds me of the key we found in the other room. That's it! That must be the key for one of those trap doors! That wasn't a trap door. You can only call it that because you quite literally jumped into it. Hey, isn't that what you're supposed to do when you see one? I am not having this conversation with you. Poor Edgeworth. Uh, is that everything? Yeah? I love how I've never said yes, I've just <laughs> said yeah. So this is the room next to the one where we were held prisoners in. You know, I took a peek in here through the door in from the other room. As did I, Kay. Anyway, if this room was truly the kidnapper's hideout... Then that means there should be some clues to their identities here, right? I don't know if there are. However, the probability is quite high. I believe a thorough combing of this room is necessary. Do we have a picture from when we saw it before? No. Dang it. I don't remember what it looked like, because maybe... What's-his-face, like, threw things around and was like, Oh, there was only, like, one share off, but I'm gonna put two out! <laughs> He's, like, running around and making things look mm. bad. Come on, 
and the Badger family is waiting for us to find and take pictures of them. And remember, you have to yell Badger get every time or it doesn't count. Oh wait, we've already done this, haven't we? Tell me about it. Whoops, never mind. Blue Badger Mobile. What do you think about this? If you're going to steal it, oh, this is also All the right. same. <laughs> love letter. Oh. I guess it's a love letter? It reads kind of bittersweet. If that was all, I'd say it was nothing more than someone pining for Lance. However, the sender is the loan company Tender Lender. And the story takes a super bitter downturn. <laughs> Does she know about that too? If a loan company sends you a letter, it's probably not a good thing. That's true. This must be where they dispose of old and worn out costumes. Oh, this... I thought he was going to say this is where they dispose of the body. <laughs> is, is this going to turn into like a... Five Nights at the Blue Badgers kind of thing. Yes, that's what I said from the start. I'm like, there's a weird dude in a costume killing people. Oh boy. Or girl. Weird dude or girl. That's so sad. It would seem that they throw the costumes away in pieces. Okay. Why is there like a cow skull on the door? That seems weird. I don't know. Beyond this door... Is where the kidnappers held you after getting the jump on you. Must you keep reminding me? But it's the room where I got to see your awesome meow face. You didn't need to remind me of that mortifying moment either. Trading post with meow. Hey, there's a trap door in this room too. It's not a trap door. It's an entrance to the underground passage, Kay. I know that. A door leading to the outside world was locked. So Lance must have escaped his prison through here. Okay, let's jump down. Yeah? Nope. I wanted the logic button. Do, 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 do. Well, the broken co prop sword and the costume pieces maybe go together? Because they're How like. So? Well, because the costume pieces are all broken up. So, is so the sword? maybe it's. Yeah, and the sword's broken up. So maybe, like, okay. together they should be in the box together, but that thing's out for a reason. Hmm. The pieces don't fit together quite right. <laughs> Slap <laughs> self. <laughs> no, it's his own mind and sadness. Oh, and chairs. Oh, well, yeah. Duh. Free of each. The common denominator between the cups and the folding chairs is the number three. Speaking of which, the number of missing costumes is also three. Wait, but I thought there were only two kidnappers. Indeed. Something isn't adding up. Literally. Is it possible that there is a third kidnapper that Lance didn't see? Or is it just possible that someone was an idiot and was like, Whoops, my costume broke. How can I possibly Oops, repair this? Oops, wagon spill. The door is thoroughly broken thanks to the police who forced it open. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Wow, what's those things on the floor? It's the sword. Oh. The panel that hid the entrance to the underground is wide open. Be careful where you step, Kay. I only fell into the other one, or the other opening once, you know. Wait, no. <laughs> I'm done examining this. <laughs> That's that. Oh, they have barrels like these just outside. Yes, and? Well, I know I already asked you when we were out there, but I'm pretty sure I've already read this. <laughs> okay, but it says it's different dialogue because I couldn't fast forward for it. Looks like a sword. Broken sword. Strange. Why would it be broken like that? Wait. But again, I can't skip the text. This is strange. Just to take a moment to appreciate Let's Edgeworks look at the door animation. Handle. Yeah. There's nothing unusual about. Yes, there is. We just we moved slightly oh. too far. The doorknob handle thingy is looking pretty beat up. I suppose that's what happens when ten officers break their way in with brute force. Hey, that's odd. The lock on this is completely fine! Not a single dent! But how is that possible after what the officer told us? Yeah, if the lock had been in use when the door was busted down, then the lock itself should be completely wrecked. So the lock on the door leading to the outside is undamaged. How could that be? Oh, the officer lied. Or they had mad repair skills. Broken prop sword and the door. Or perhaps the broken prop sword was not broken, but it was holding the door on. It's a bit strange that the police had to force their way into an unlocked room. One look at the pristine door lock and anyone can see that it was not in use at the time. 
But the policeman outside said that it took ten men to get it open! Hmm, a door that was locked tight despite it not being locked at all. It can only be because of this. Oh, you mean... Yes, it was used to jam the door. Here, take a look at the door handle. Do you see how the handle is completely destroyed? So that's how the sword broke. Broken prop sword data dotted, jotted down. I thought that we might uncover the true identity of the kidnappers. But instead, we've only uncovered more questions that need to be answered. What is that it? That freaked me out! <laughs> oh my gosh! Are you gonna murder us? <laughs> well, well, Mr. Edgeworth, am I correct? Well, what are you doing suddenly popping out of the secret entrance like that? This is an underground passage used by staff members, sir. Oh, is it the- We badgers it also the make use of it in our duties. Yeah, it actually it's is. It's the bellboy. It's the bellboy, because nice. Gatewaterland, Gatewater yeah, Hotel. Yeah. <laughs> Look, why don't you get out of there first, and then we'll talk, okay? Ah, I beg your pardon, miss. It's either gonna be that or Shelly the killer. Proto Badger, get! Alright, only one more to go! What are you getting all excited about? <gasps> Did you forget? The photo rally, duh! See, look, now all I have to do is get a picture of the bad badger and I'm done! Ah, uh, yes, I vaguely recall a contest or something of that sort. What? W what? It's gone, but where did it go? Hmm? What happened? What's wrong? A bad badger costume is missing, sir. Oh. Is that all? Well, it's missing because the kidnappers stole it. I heard about how they were stolen. But they said that only three of the costumes had been taken. What? Is he saying that more than three of them are gone? Mr. Proto Badger, please tell me a little more about the costumes. Is you this used. going to turn into Carmen San Diego, where it's like you're in the last land? It's like time to capture Carmen San Diego. Which badger is it? <laughs> well, it's like everybody dressed like Carmen San Diego in Spain today. <laughs> oh yeah, that was <laughs> it's really like, weird. That's super weird. What do you mean by a bad badger costume is missing? Why, just what I said, sir. We are one bad bad badger short. Counting the spares, we have two of each costume on hand at all times. Okay, so because one of them is walking around in the park... The other should be in that room. Uh, actually, both of them should be in that room. Huh? What do you mean? Normally, we don't use the Bad Badger costumes. In fact, we only use them during a certain event at a set time each day. It's the stage show where the Bad Badger wreaks havoc around the park. That would make sense, because who the heck would want to get pictures with the Bad Badger? <laughs> and the other Badgers must work together to apprehend him, sir. I'm speechless that such a show exists. Well, sir, I was just trying to explain to you that the only time we use that costume... Then doesn't that make it near impossible to take a picture of the Bad Badger? Personally, I can't believe that it's this close to the showtime and there's no costume. Oh dear, what am I to do, sir? All this basically means is that the four kidnappers stole four costumes in total. Then are you saying that there are four kidnappers? No, I don't think that's very likely. Well? Recall the costumes for a minute. Stolen ones, you mean? What proves that a fourth kidnapper does not exist? The fact that there's still one pink there. I think Old Bag was just like, well, I could get a little bit of cash. I don't see why we can't make some acquired cash as well, right? Yeah. <laughs> Looking here, you can plainly see that a fourth kidnapper is out of the question. Well, where? Do you know what he's trying to say, Mr. Proto Badger? No. no. I'm very sorry, sir. However, I must have missed something myself. It's alright. I zigged when a zag was more appropriate. It's as simple as it appears. All I have to do is think a little to find the answer. You don't even need to think. You just look. Take that! I don't care if Donald Trump's sending me emails. What?! <laughs> that is a real- What?! <laughs> what are you doing in your free time? Nothing! <laughs> Why is he sending me it wasn't Donald Trump, it just that was in the title. Oh. I, it's spam. Oh, okay, I was like... <laughs> what deals are you doing? Artie, I need your help for the upcoming 2020 election. No. No, no you don't. <laughs> if you ha had four people and you wanted to steal a fourth costume, wouldn't you naturally go for the full set and steal a pink badger costume instead? Yeah, that makes sense. And yet the kidnappers decided to steal another bad badger. I believe the culprits needed two Bad Badger costumes, but the question is why? Because there were two kidnappings, two murders? 
two bad badgers for it. I was wondering if you don't mind. Mr. Proto Badger, how did you know my name? You are pretty famous, sir. I would think that most people in the world would know who you are. Famous? Me? Absolutely, <laughs> sir. You're always very active in the community, I hear. Wow, I didn't know you were such a celebrity, Mr. Edgeworth. I feel like I've met this person before. Maybe it's just my imagination. You've met him. Absolutely. <laughs> it's an endearing <laughs> mannerism, <laughs> but... The second Bad Badger costume. I believe it may be closer at hand than we think. Hmm? What do you mean? That costume in the trash. Wouldn't you say that it's wearing some very telltale pants? Hey, you're right! Let's get it out of there and take a look. As I suspected, it's a Bad Badger costume. Well, minus the head, which was in the room with Edgeworth. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious nook and cranny. I wonder why this Bad Badger costume's right hand is torn up like that. That is not where I examined, but okay. Hmm, maybe it's a flesh wound from a fight with the Blue Badger. How is new the Blue Badger was one ferocious beast? Badgers are ferocious. I somehow doubt that like even Maggie real- and the ferocious beast. Well, yes, but completely different. different. I somehow doubt that even real badgers are as bloodthirsty as that, Kay. Uh, absolutely. You can't see the hands. It doesn't work. All right. Well, Badger Family Bible. Uh, that's the hand with the gun in its hand. <laughs> this is a man with a gun. <laughs> I believe what we have here is an inconsistency. Hmm? Between what? Look carefully. Our costume is not holding something in its right hand that it should be. Hmm. Oh, the gun. Precisely. The Bad Badger was designed to always hold a gun in his right hand. However- like it's permanently on him? <laughs> basically. Oh. You there, did you remove the gun from this Bad Badger's right hand? No, I did not, sir. The gun is supposed to be securely attached to the costume. As I thought, the rip itself confirms my hypothesis that the gun was forcibly removed. Mr. Proto Badger, the gun is, of course, not a functioning weapon, it correct? It will be. Absolutely not, sir. Okay. It's just a model gun. However, it can fire blanks. We need to use them for the stage show. It seems that our kidnappers also had a need for the model gun, my dear costumed friend. Well, that could make sense. Maybe they, like... Okay. Weird idea. It could be that they shot using the blank gun, and the person who they shot was so freaked out that they pulled a gun, what they thought was the real gun, that they fainted, passed out. And then they took them away, like, kidnapping. But okay. They, I think... But that's what Old Bag saw, you think? Because mm. there's no blood around there. Old Bag old saw bag, the fate. Old Bag saw them shoot. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I don't shum shoot. Shum? Shum? Shum shoot. Shum, the shum shoot. shake redemption. The shum shake shoot. Mm. Oh. Uh, but anyway, she, she saw him <laughs> shot and then fell over. And then um, there's no blood at the scene whatsoever. So I think then after that, she's just like, oh, that's pretty weird. And they just took him off, I guess. You think Lance was the one who got fake shot then? Yeah. Okay. Because he was, like, freaking out, and he what, he didn't look like he was really hurt. He was just, like, so tired. <laughs> he looked like me after I was out of Ikea today. After you went today. to Ikea. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. I think the way we're about done with this room. So, what's next? Well, we found a few answers. But there are still a few things left that we have to ask a certain person about. Let's go, Kay. Kay! <laughs> I love his swagger walk. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> March 13th, 3.34pm. Wow, wow, was... Mr. Edgeworth, sir! You've got to hurry, sir! Come on! What is it, detective? They found a blue badger costume down in front of the main gate, sir! What? Isn't that where one of the kidnappers was wearing? What one of them was wearing? I said uh, where. Oh, what, what? I said where, and it was what? <laughs> Bingo! That's why you could have got to come down to the main gate with me right now. If we hurry, we might still be able to get there before Wolf Boy does, sir. All right, let's make haste to the main gate. Oh my gosh, that sounds like something he'd say. <laughs> make haste! To be continued. Cool. Should we keep this a slightly shorter episode? Or I should guess we do a so. little more? Okay. 
That's that's a decent breaking I point. Guess so. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Wait, I th oh, we're actually closer to the end than I thought. I forgot a lot about this case. I How are we close to the end? We know. Okay, we're about nothing. to we're about to do the end part one. Oh, it's probably part one of seven. It's one of two, I think. How are we going to remotely know anything? We don't know anything. <laughs> We know absolutely nothing. We just know that Old Bag saw somebody be shot, and we saw the head. Either that or I'm forgetting badger. something, but I say, I'm I pretty don't sure. I don't know anything. You're I'm forgetting stuff. I'm pretty sure once you go to the main gate, that's like not quite the end game, but really close to the end, end. game of the case. Anyhow, look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day, and God bless.